Hello friends, uh, this is tutorial 2 AutoCAD. In my first tutorial, I have teach you how to open the AutoCAD, how to set the limits, how to give the units and how to zoom the working area. I have teach these all things in my first uh, tutorial and uh, in this second tutorial we will learn how to use some other commands and uh, some modification tools and uh, here uh, there's some icons how to the function of the icons how to use that what's the purpose of these some icons here will learn these all things okay and uh, don't forget to subscribe to get the new videos okay let's start so yesterday we learned how to use the line tool to make uh, uh, drawing Yesterday I have teach you how to make on um, star drawing with this line command somewhere like this. Okay, so you just click the line command and uh, I can see specify the first point. Just click somewhere and there is one thing I want to teach you that when you click the first point and um, when you move the cursor the line will come along with the cursor and uh, you can see like uh, in case if you want to make a straight line what you have to do so I will teach you what you have to do so here you can see some icons here when you keep the cursor on each icon it will show the detail of that icon see for example this one is in infer constraints and this is snap mode this is uh, grid display and this is uh, ortho mode so this is the one we are going to use ortho mode or straight lines just click that now you can see it becomes straight so when you click that again you can see the difference okay so now we, we want to make a straight line so you just click that and uh, and it's asking the specify next point you just click wherever you want and press enter to complete the line command that's it okay and there is another tool called circle so you can just click that in here draw tools click circle and you can see circle specific center point for the circle it's asking the asking us to specify the center point of that circle so you click somewhere here in the drawing area and once you click you can see the circle and uh, it's asking specifically the radius of the circle or you can give the diameter so in case if you want to give the diameter of the circle you just click the diameter and you can click the you can give the diameter so for example now we will give uh, around 10 diameter of the circle is 10 just press enter that's it now we have the circle with the diameter of 10 okay now there is another tool is rectangle we just click that and uh, see it's asking the specific first corner point just click somewhere here and um, drag it upside or downside wherever you want so you can see the shape of the circle 
and uh, if you want to give the dimension of the uh, sorry uh, dimension of the rectangle you can give the dimension so for that you can you have to click the dimensions here you can see click the dimensions and you can give the dimensions uh, this is 10 is given already so if you want to keep the same just press enter or if you want to give some different dimension you can just type it so for now we will keep the same dimension just press enter and it's asking the width for the rectangle you can give the same if you want you can change it we will keep it the same so just press enter again now the rectangle is ready and you have to click once more here and the drawing is done okay okay now I will show you how to select the objects so if you want to select this object just click on the objects click oh, it's getting selected you can see that just click that because if you want to select all together so there is another option to select that all object together I will show you that just press escape to deselect the all objects and now you are going to select all the objects together so for that you have to just click here somewhere around just one click left click and drag the mouse around these objects and press enter once the all object is covered inside the rectangle just click uh, you can see all the three objects are selected so this is how you can select multiple objects okay and uh, I'll show you how to delete the objects or how to erase the objects I press escape to deselect the objects so now you want to delete this line select the line and you can see here modify here erase tool just click that it will be deleted okay in case if you want to get back that just press Ctrl and Z to get back that. that's the undo command otherwise you can see here this icon this left arrow right arrow if you click this left side arrow it will give the uh, lost command it will undo the lost command so you get back that okay so this is how you can use the um, delete and do command so you can just press and uh, just delete uh, erase it erase tool so it will be deleted otherwise there is another option also you can do it like you just press the object which you want to delete and just press the delete key then it will be deleted that's it okay for today's this second tutorial is done so I'll meet you in the next tutorial please don't subscribe sorry please subscribe this YouTube channel for uh, get the new videos thank you